Okay, we found the difference between China and India was that China had a very specific policy of actually encouraging and, and promoting return migration, people coming back, setting up companies, bringing technology, doing stuff. India doesn't. India is more of a market economy. It's more kind of open-ended. But Indians do come back. A very large number of Indians do come back to India also. In terms of what was the incentive to come back, it's a little different between China and India. In India, we found more of it was family reasons. We wanted to actually come back and look for new opportunities, different from what you had back in the US or in Europe or wherever you were before that. And this is the kind of differences that we found. And so their interface with the state was different. In China, it's much more positive. The, 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 the state knows what they want to do. In India, it was more sort of open-ended and sort of market economy. I think there's many things that India can learn from the Chinese example of actually having a whole system and a whole structured way in which you support return migration. But India does it more for all businesses, not just for only return migrant businesses. So the overall situation in, in India is uh, improving in terms of various programs that they're running there like Make in India and Startup India and Stand Up India and stuff like that. So that focuses on the overall environment. But specifically, we do make some recommendations, which are that the government should actually consider setting up networking centers for these people, helping them with finance, helping them with you know local facilities and connections with at the local local level. So all that kind of stuff, particularly at the local level, is much more required in India. So